Our other big story tonight, Ford is coming to West Michigan. The automaker will turn the mega site in Marshall into its next battery mega plant. More than 2,000 people will be working there when it opens in three years. We have team coverage on the big announcement and mixed reaction tonight. We'll begin with News 8's Kyle Mitchell at Ford facilities in Metro Detroit. Ford will build the next generation of batteries at the Marshall site, and the company says it will be a game changer in affordability. I believe that building in America matters more than ever. Ford executive chairman Bill Ford announced a major investment in the company's future, speaking to a crowd of state leaders and employees at its battery site in Romulus. But today we're pleased to announce a three and a half billion dollar investment to build a brand new next gen EV battery plant right here in our home state of Michigan. The company will create the Blue Oval Battery Park in Marshall near I-94 and I-69. The investment will create 2,500 jobs. When you make a complicated decision like this from the site, uh, the whole package, you know, Michigan was really the clear leader. Michigan has approved up to $210 million in grants and a $36 million loan. Governor Gretchen Whitmer says the state is committed to attracting projects like this one. We've got to stay at the table. We've got to compete. We've got the best workforce in the world. The plant will be the first one for the company to create lithium iron phosphate batteries. There will not be any more affordable battery than this one built in the U.S. Ford will work with a Chinese company that is an industry leader in the technology, which will also charge more quickly and be more durable. Ford got this right, being a wholly owned subsidiary for Ford, not having supply chain disruptions take place, which, which we, we all faced recently with the global pandemic. The mayor of Marshall says Ford is committed to being environmentally responsible on this project. We were able to get over 240 acres along the Kalamazoo River. We heard a lot of talk about that for conservation, to protect our waters. That's very important. Ford stood up and, and recognized that as well. Ford says production should begin in 2026. Reporting from Romulus, Kyle Mitchell, News 8. And with the big announcement today, some residents in Marshall are expressing mixed reaction to the new plant. New States Byron Tollefson spoke to them and continues our coverage. Many in this city of nearly 7,000 fear the Ford plant will change Marshall for the worse. We are a gem. And Marshall residents want to protect this. Rebecca Gladfelty's family has property on the Marshall Megasite, a 2,000-acre space that will soon be filled by Ford's electric vehicle battery plant. This is an, an offense against us to have this land taken and to have our history taken from us. She's part of the group of Marshall residents protesting to stop the plant. She says Marshall already has a traffic problem, plus a housing shortage which she believes will only worsen with the population surge. I see it's a big shift in who we are by proposing this mega site. And I feel that it will drastically change with the amount of traffic that will be in town. The plant would bring thousands of jobs to an area that's seen employers leave over the last two decades. This project represents a once in a generation economic opportunity. It will mean two to 3,000 high paying jobs in Marshall. It will create economic opportunities. But Marshall Township resident John Rothwell worries that one day Ford will leave too. Why did they lose those jobs to begin with? It, I've lived around here uh, for 28 years now. I'm originally from Battle Creek. And I've watched uh, jobs or, and places come into Marshall, set up, they're here for a few years and they leave. How long will that place be here before it decides they can make those batteries cheaper? Uh, somewhere else. The CEO of Choose Marshall, the local economic development agency, says the plant will keep young people in Marshall by providing high paying jobs. New opportunities for our young people to uh, have a real career pathway and they can get that career pathway here in Marshall rather than going off to other regions. But some residents worry it will ruin Marshall's rural small town appeal. I'm concerned about uh, the water pollution. I'm concerned about the air pollution and the light pollution, noise, everything that a mar large facility like that will bring to that area. Some say they're now considering leaving the city. They fear they won't recognize anymore. That they're already looking to move. 
from the city and they purposely moved here. So we're already hearing people saying they're looking to move out of the community. I just think it's a bad match and bad fit for Marshall, Michigan. One of the next steps is the city of Marshall plans to annex the mega site to make it part of the city. In Marshall, Byron Tollefson, News 8. If you would like to see Ford's full announcement, we've got the video posted at woodtv.com.